Hi, how you guys doing? This is Rich and we have a Rich TV Live. Today I want to talk to you about Else Nutrition, Else Nutrition Holdings Inc., otherwise known as Baby, B-A-B-Y in Canada, B-A-B-Y-F in America. It has been an absolute dream for investors. You can see that I actually started talking about this company way back when it started. Right around here. Around the 30 cent range. And I'm going to show you the evidence, actually, because I love to do that. I love to bring you guys the evidence. So literally brought them like right around 32 cents. They did hit a high of yesterday. They hit a high of a dollar 15, dollar 17. So they hit a high of dollar 17 yesterday. So you can see how this chart has been an absolute dream. So yeah, there's been some ups and downs and ups and downs along the way. It wasn't straight up, but it's been consolidating and climbing and then consolidating and then climbing and then consolidating and climbing. And I told you guys it was going to go to a buck. It went all the way to $1.17. Now, could it possibly come back down? Yeah, anything's possible. It can definitely possibly come back down. But will it come back down? I don't know. That's a million dollar question. That's the million dollar question. So yeah, I don't think that uh, I don't think it's going to come back down. In my opinion, this is going to be a five or ten dollar stock. And I'm going to show you some of the interviews I've done with the people involved in the company and why I think this company is going to do great. Now remember, this is the CEO I interviewed first on. October 24th, 2019. Listen. Hi, how you doing? This is Rich here on behalf of Rich TV Live with a very special guest. It is Hamutal Yitzhak, the CEO of Else Nutrition. How are you doing today? I'm very good, very excited. I'm excited to have you here today. Can you tell us a little bit about Else Nutrition? Sure. Else Nutrition is bringing the next generation infant nutrition into the global market. Great. And what pain are you addressing in the market? Well, the pain is very simple. This is a, a market that has only two alternatives, and both of them are not good. We are the third one, and we are bringing a much superior product. Fantastic. And why infant nutrition? Infant nutrition has been our careers, uh, all the founders' careers, um, their entire lives. Um, this is what we were doing. And combining that with a personal pain that one of the founders' granddaughters had with an inability to consume the milk, we combined that together, had to save a life. So this is where we are. Wow. Now, where can investors expect to see Else Nutrition products being sold in the near term? Our first target market is the North American market. We have already been approached by so many parents, like hundreds of emails coming all the time uh, from parents are begging to buy the product. So this is the most adaptive uh, market for us. So you guys are in the 100% plant-based formula sector and essentially creating an alternative to the two other sources that exist, which is soy milk and cow's milk. Right. Knowing this, how do you distinguish yourself from your competitors? Well, it's very simple. You just said it. We're non-dairy, non-soy, 100% plant-based infant formula. We're the only one that exists. There's no other alternative. That's great. And you currently have 18 patents granted, correct? We have 18 patents granted, and we have additional 45 countries pending with their patents. Yes. And you're registered in 66 countries? In total, yes. Well, congratulations with your success. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about Else Nutrition's team and the expertise they bring to the table? Yeah, well, Else Nutrition team's founders are all veterans of this industry for many, many years, all coming with robust experience in every aspect of the value chain. Our extended team is uh, high-profile uh, executives coming from many industries, but uh, all with robust experience in in fast-moving consumer goods, taking this product into very fast growth care globally. 
uh, people coming from SodaStream, people coming from Enzymatech, Retail Tech, um, lots of uh, companies that uh, really are leaders in their space. Very good. And our investment community is worldwide in about 60 countries, and we love to find undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed companies. Can you tell us a little bit about your share structure? Well, we have 67 million shares in our treasury. 51% is held by insiders. Wow, that's great. I love that share structure. And why would an investor want to buy the stock? Well, simply because we're disrupting a huge industry with only two alternatives that don't work. And we are the third one. And it's a much superior product. Very good. Now, I also noticed that you guys just got awarded your OTC Markets Exchange Symbol, congratulations on that. You. So you're listed in Canada on the TSX Venture under the symbol BABY and in America on the OTC markets under the symbol BABYF. Why the OTC market symbol? Well, the American market is our tar first target market. So and we know there's a great demand. So we're so excited to have American investors also on board. So this is very simple. Yeah, and that's a great idea. Now, what's coming up next for Else Nutrition? Well, we are just going to change the face of this industry, and this is what's coming up next. I mean, we're going to do everything that's our, in our capacity to be um, everywhere, to be on every shelf, and to have a full range for every mom on this planet. Wow, that's a great goal. Well, congratulations on all your success. Thank you for joining us here on Rich TV Live. Our entire community will be watching your company very, very closely. Thank you guys for watching. This is Rich from Rich TV Live with Hamutel Yitzhak the CEO of Else Nutrition. Have a nice day. Thank you. And then I interviewed the... developer of marketing. Check this out. Hi, how are you doing? This is Rich here on behalf of Rich TV Live with a very special guest. It is Barack Orenstein, the Director of Digital Marketing for Else Nutrition, otherwise known as Baby. How are you doing today, Barack? Good to be with you. Doing well. Oh, thank you for joining us. And let's get right back into it. I did speak with Hamutal earlier this week, the CEO, and I was really impressed with what you guys are doing. So let's just get started. Can you tell us a little bit about your role with the company? Certainly. So my role is essentially global uh, director of marketing and digital marketing. So really um, taking uh, the products that we have and the solution that we have and uh, connecting with consumers and forming consumer connection plans and building the brand. Uh, so we're in the process of building the brand right now in advance of our first launch of our toddler nutritional drink in Q2 of 2020. So a lot of demand out there coming to us already and we're uh, looking to uh, answer a big market need. That's fantastic. Now, Else Nutrition is a plant-based infant formula. What pains are you addressing in the industry? So this industry, infant nutrition, has been around for 120 years, and it's been dominated by two main sources, cow milk protein and soy-based uh, protein. And both of those are known allergens. Uh, cow milk protein is um, you know, not the best in terms of uh, animal welfare, Many children are allergic to cow milk protein and can't consume it. And soy as well contains phytoestrogens, which have been uh, suspected to be not optimal for, for children. They're, it's genetically modified. So we're looking to bring to the market, and we are bringing to market, the first all-natural, 100% plant-based infant nutrition uh, and formula. So we like to say at Else Nutrition, we're not just a formula, we're a solution. And we're providing a real solution and alternative to this marketplace and real innovation in a market that's been stagnant. So giving a real solution for parents who have children that suffer from cow milk and uh, protein allergy or, or soy allergy, and that number is only uh, increasing. And we're also giving a real viable alternative for millions of families that are seeking clean labor products, healthier alternatives to support uh, a healthier and sustainable lifestyle. That's incredible. I love what you guys are doing. And as a father myself of two children, I wish this was around 12 years ago when my kids were babies growing up. I almost feel bad that I've been feeding them milk for all these years. I actually stopped giving them milk because after the interview, I realized that it's not healthy. So 
I had kind of gone away from milk and I'm excited that you guys are bringing this product to market. Now, what kind of feedback or inquiries has Else been getting from their customers? Great question. So even uh, before launch, we have consumers finding us and these are hundreds and thousands of consumers that are coming towards us. I personally take many of those uh, inquiries and they really span, uh, they run the gamut. So we have fathers, mothers, grandparents, experts, uh, everyone looking to us and they're asking, when is this product coming? We need an alternative. Uh, the industry has been stagnant. The current offerings don't meet the needs of our children, be they uh, ones who suffer from allergies, intolerances, sensitivities. Um, there's families that are looking for a vegan solution to support a healthier lifestyle, healthier, healthier family lifestyle. So parents are increasingly aware of uh, you know, the, the ingredient panel on the existing options. They're looking for better for, for their children uh, offerings. And it's we've been getting a lot of emotionally charged inquiries. So it's it's really touching us and we're really eager to bring this to market to provide a solution for millions of families. That's great. Can you describe the market opportunity and any favorable trends? Certainly. So it's really this uh, coming together of many macro trends that we're seeing. So first of all, children allergies that have only increased over time. So the number of uh, families that are having to deal with kids who can't tolerate uh, milk or soy options or, or have uh, children who have sensitivities has only been increasing. And certainly we've been witnessing with the likes of uh, Impossible and Beyond Meats uh, an explosion of plant-based industry and the plant-based market, which is growing uh, double digits across all uh, food categories. So many have called us the beyond meat of infant nutrition and we're humbled by that. We're really uh, focused on our, our vision of providing the foundation of nutrition for, for generations to come. And we're really focused on giving a, a better, cleaner alternative for babies and, and toddlers as well. And in addition, we're, you know, we have very strong IP protection and patents on our unique composition. And this is really once in a generation that you'll find something that this closely imitating the nutritional gold standard composition values of breast milk. So we've really come on to a formula that not only tastes great, but it provides all of the uh, nutritional essentials that the little ones need. That's great. The children are the future and we need to do everything we can to make sure that they're healthy. And I love what you guys are doing. So what's next for Else Nutrition? So currently we're focused really on um, commercializing and launching our first product to market, which will be liquid and powder-based toddler nutritional drinks. And those are slated to launch in uh, the spring of 2020. And then uh, we'll be following that up with a zero to 12 month infant nutrition formula following that. And beyond that, there's a wide range of opportunities and products that we can launch also for adults for uh, the elderly and those who may suffer from chronic uh, conditions like Crohn's and colitis. So we really see as our vision providing a foundation for a wholesome, balanced nutrition for generations to come. But we have laser focus right now on bringing to market something that's really been needed, which is a cleaner label, all natural, plant-based infant and toddler nutrition. That's great. I'm so excited to see you guys grow. I think you guys have an unbelievably great idea and concept and product here, and I think it's going to do quite well. What makes Else Nutrition a good investment? We have a large community of investors here at Rich TV Live, over 60 countries worldwide watching Rich TV Live and companies like yours that are underappreciated, undervalued, underexposed. Why would an investor want to invest in Else Nutrition today? So we firmly believe that Else Nutrition uh, ticks many of the boxes that one would be looking for in a strong and promising investment. So first of all, we're backed by an expert and veteran team. Our founders have uh, decades of experience in the infant nutrition market from the likes of Abbott and, and Nestle, technical know-how that's very, very valuable. Second, we are meeting this unmet and uh, latent need in a $70 billion infant nutrition market that's growing 9% uh, at Kager, and it's expected in five years to grow to $90 billion globally. So a huge, uh, a huge market that we're looking to disrupt and revolutionize. And consumers are uh, voting with their clicks now. We're getting tons of inquiries and, you know, when can we have this product in the marketplace? And you add to that very strong IP protection. So we have a patent on our product composition in 19 countries with 45 patents pending globally. 
and a commercial ready product. So we're already, we're set to go in a number of months with our first product launch and all of these things really, um, you know, make us a good, uh, a good investment. Wow. We're really, really excited here to see you guys grow. I think you guys are providing a need that has been long needed. So congratulations on what you guys are doing and all your success so far. And this is Rich from Rich To Be Live with our special guest from Else Nutrition, otherwise known as Baby Barack Orenstein, the Director of Digital Marketing. Thank you for watching. Have yourself a great day, Barack. Thank you. Thanks, Rich. So Baby right now is just on fire. Um, I'm looking at the pivots and I'm looking at the indicators. Just the momentum alone, there's a very good chance the baby's going to go to $1.37. Uh, currently at a dollar fourteen, could go down on a pullback. Could go down as low as seventy six. So on a low end, I could see it go down as low as seventy seven. Um, if it continues this trend, I think we go to a dollar thirty seven. The indicators on investing.com are all very bullish. You can see on the monthly chart, it's a buy on the moving averages, strong buy on the technical indicators. On the weekly chart, it's a buy on the moving averages, strong buy on the technical indicators. On the daily chart, it's a buy on the moving averages, strong buy on the technical indicators. On the five hour chart, it's a buy on the moving averages, strong buy on the technical indicators. Like this is bullish guys. I mean, this is me showing you how I'm doing my due diligence on momentum, okay? You can see on the hourly, it's a strong buy. On the technical indicators, buy on the moving averages. On the 30 minutes, it's a buy on the moving averages, strong buy on the technical indicators. On the 15 minutes, it's a buy on the moving averages, strong buy on the technical indicators. Only the five minutes is showing a strong sell, which is short term. So long term, I think it looks great. George Holman would say, Rich, would you say you're an investor or trader? I'm everything, man. I'm everything to everybody. I'm an investor, I'm a trader, I'm an influencer, I'm an educator, I'm a student, all of the above, all of the above. Samuel says, baby is supposed to be closing the offering with H&H today. Well, there's definitely something good going on because they're at $1.14 up 7.5% and they just continue to climb almost every day. I mean, the last month has been nuts. Just looking at the one month chart. Look at the last month. They were at 59 cents February 13th. They've almost doubled since February 13th, like two weeks. They've almost doubled in two weeks. So they've had a nice little run here. And you can see that it's been extremely bullish all the way up. And I believe it could go higher. I mean, based on these indicators. Maybe even as high as 150 here. That's what the pivots are showing. So there's a very good chance that we're going to see this go as high as $1.50 here in the next uh, short little while. How you doing, Michelle? No, I don't hold baby. I try not to hold stocks that I talk about to the community. I think it's bad luck. This is a community gift. This is a community pick. It's a community winner. And I'm happy that the community is winning on this pick. Uh, baby is my client. It is a sponsored video. When I do videos with Baby, they're sponsored. So it just makes my life a lot easier if I don't buy the stocks. I don't have to sit there and disclose and explain anything to the Securities and Exchange Commission. I'd rather just bring the visibility to the, to the company, to my community, and let the community win. And I'm happy to have you guys win. Michelle Clark says, Rich Germany just announced that they are going to increase their fiscal stimulus because of the coronavirus. I just heard. You know, it's funny. Everybody now is talking about the coronavirus a month later, and I've been talking about it for a month. And a month ago, everyone said I was crazy. Now everybody's talking about coronavirus. I just like to be first, man. Clearly, coronavirus is going to affect the whole world. I've been saying that for a month. People didn't want to listen to me. People thought I was crazy. Now everyone's like, yeah, you were right, Rich. Well, yeah, obviously. Samuel says, I'm up 150% on baby, waiting for that 1,000%. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't wait for the 1,000%. I would take my profits along the way, and you can always buy it again. Don't, uh, 
don't regret being up 150%. 150% is a nice return on your investment. All right, guys, I just want to bring you this about baby. I don't want to be long. There's a lot of news flowing. There's a lot of things to talk about. I'll be coming back later on to bring you the most biggest breaking news of the day. But I just have to bring this to your attention because baby just keeps trucking along. They just keep winning for members. And I believe this will continue. So I just showed you guys why. All the indicators are bullish. And I'm going to show you guys their share structure right now on Rich TV Live. Another reason why I'm bullish on the stock is their share structure. And guys, you guys can go to baby on richtvlive.com and get all the statistics and details on that stock and all the other stocks in the world of investing right there. And if you guys would like to learn how to trade, you're welcome to join me and our growing community. Just email me richtvlive at gmail.com and I can show you guys how you can win and trade and win and trade. And you can make money up and you can make money down. So this is Baby and on richtvlive.com. And if we go to share info, all the information's right there at your fingertips. We try to make it as easy for you guys as possible. And we scroll down. Total shares on Baby are 67 million, so they have a very tight float. 31.29 million in the float, very tight. 46.43% of the float are the total issue note standing shares. Short interest is only 66,000 shares. Very few people trying to short this because that's suicide. So love this company. I think it's been doing amazing, clearly. Uh, today up 8.49% or 9 cents, up 38%, 38 cents for the month or 55.88% for the last month alone, up 53 cents on the quarter, which is 100%. In the last seven days, up 47%. In the last 21 days, up 55%. In the last 30 days, up 73%. In the last 90 days, up 202%. But look, in the last 180 days, 63%. In the last 200 days, 82%. This does do pullbacks. There will be a pullback at some point. I wouldn't be surprised to see it go back under a buck. I just don't know when. I'm not guaranteeing a pullback but there's always a likelihood it's gonna happen. So if you're up, always consider taking your profits. Put a trailing stock, uh, trailing take profit. So if you're up 10%, always be willing to sell 10% or more. Once you get up to 15%, leave your take profit at 10%. Once you get up to 20%, move your take profit up to 15%. Once you're up 100%, move your take profit up to 95%. If it keeps going up, keep riding the momentum. Move your trailing, take profit, always 5% lower than where it's at. So right now, for example, if you're up 150% and it's at $1.15, move your trailing take profit at $1.10. Very simple way to try to squeeze all the juice out of the market. Baby's been a big winner for our community. Congratulations to everyone who's taken advantage of this move. Michelle Clark says, Rich, do all stocks show short interest on their charts? No. Not every stock. Depends. Obviously, smaller companies with tighter floats, less volume, may have zero short interest. Companies that are institutionally bought, bigger companies, big board companies are going to have more short interest because hedge funds and institutions, they short stocks. They go on both sides. They long stocks and they short stocks. That way they don't have exposure to one side or one move. They're protected on both sides. So you're gonna see more short interest on bigger companies and that also is going to ensure that those companies are always going to be supported because shorters have to buy stocks to cover. So typically when you see stocks that are running, a lot of times that's a combination of institutions are buying, hedge funds are buying, whales are buying, insiders are buying, and shorts are covering which is creating a buying frenzy because shorts are covering in a panic because they're trying to protect themselves from getting short squeezed. C says, baby, been on baby since 51 cents. Nice work. Michelle Clark says, many investors forgot to take profits. I always tell the investors to take their profits.
I'm actually got to go. Uh, I would love to talk a little bit more, but guys, please do your due diligence, do your research, get into the, you know, fundamentals of their financials. I can tell you this company's from Israel. Uh, the management is from Israel. They're Israeli. They're very strategic. They're doing the right things. They're going to really grow this business. The revenue hasn't started because they haven't really started selling product. They're going to start selling product in Q2 2020, which is right around the corner. So I believe this bad boy continues to go up. And I believe, yeah, there could be some pullbacks, which could be a buying opportunity. But I think that long term, this is going to be a company that we're going to see at 5 or $10. So, so far I was correct. When they were at 30 cents, I was saying it was going to a dollar. We are now at a dollar 15. I believe that this will go higher. It may pull back before it goes up. Based on my charting, it could go down to 77 cents. It could also continue this run based on momentum and go up to a dollar 37 to a dollar 50. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not winning, you're not watching. This is Rich from Rich to be Live, and I'm out. Peace. Congratulations to everybody on Baby. It's been a huge winner. All the technical analysis is buy, strong buy. Buy 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 strong buy. So you can see the momentum is there. This is obviously a startup company. They're not going to have the strongest balance sheet in the world. Obviously, it's a startup. They haven't even started generating revenue yet. When they do, this bad boy is going to skyrocket. We're going to see them go to $2 and beyond. Just remember we heard first, okay? I'd like to bring you guys winners first. All right, guys. I'm out. Peace.